Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Former player believes Jimmy Butler is overrated. For the last several seasons, Jimmy Butler has been at the center of everything the Miami Heat has done. But some people feel he isn't contributing enough to the team. Speaking on the Gills Arena show, via NBA Central, Rashad McCants said Butler is overrated because he disappeared in the finals a few years ago. You can't give a man credit for being that man, and when we get here, we're like, where'd that man go? McCants said. Rashad McCants thinks Jimmy Butler is overrated after disappearing in the finals, you can't give a man credit for being that man, and when we get here, we're like, where'd that man go? He is referencing the 2022-23 playoff run, when the Heat were able to impress just about everyone and go all the way to the finals. Many people thought they wouldn't even get past the play-in tournament, but Butler helped the team fight hard and consistently beat expectations. At the time, he was being called everything from Himmy Butler to playoff Jimmy. The Heat first shocked everyone by taking down the Milwaukee Bucks, followed by triumphing over the New York Knicks and finally the Boston Celtics. But then they met the Denver Nuggets in the finals and things got very tough. During those five games against Nikola Jokic and his team, Butler averaged 21.6 points, 4.6 rebounds, and 6.4 assists. Although those aren't weak numbers, some people criticized Butler's output and energy, saying both dipped when the team needed him most. The Heat ended up winning just one game in that series, by only three points. McCants claims that Butler was playing incredibly well in the playoffs up until the finals arrived, and then he disappeared. Will he have a chance to redeem himself with McCants and other Heat fans? The outlook for the Miami Heat looks murky these days just 15 months after they unexpectedly reached the NBA Finals for the second time in four seasons. There are rumors that franchise player Jimmy Butler could get traded not too long from now, and the franchise has been unable to acquire its big-name trade targets over the last couple of years, including Donovan Mitchell and Damian Lillard. Per Chris Haynes, free agent Nasser Little has agreed to sign with the Heat on a one-year contract. Free agent wing Nasser Little has reached an agreement on a one-year deal with the Miami Heat, league source tells me. Little, a 6'6", 220-pound forward, played for the Phoenix Suns and averaged 3.4 points and 1.7 rebounds in 10.2 minutes a game last season after spending the previous four years with the Portland Trail Blazers. He was originally the number 25 pick in the 2019 NBA draft by the Blazers after playing one season of college basketball at the University of North Carolina. The Heat were hoping to build on their success in the spring of 2023 last season, but injuries set them back and held them to a 46-36 finish. They were able to win the play-in tournament and claim the eighth seed in the Eastern Conference, but without Jimmy Butler, they couldn't even compete with the Boston Celtics, who waxed them in five games. The previous year, Miami had outlasted Boston in seven games in the Eastern Conference Finals despite blowing a 3-0 series lead and having to win Game 7 in Beantown. Butler can opt out of his contract next summer, and therefore Miami will have to figure out what path it wants to go on pretty soon. Former player says Pat Riley is tired of Jimmy Butler. Is there trouble brewing behind the scenes with the Miami Heat? After years of the team staying the course and only making minor changes, some people believe Pat Riley has grown tired of the stagnation and is also upset with his team's lead star. Speaking with All the Smoke, Tim Hadaway Sr., who spent years with the Heat, said Riley is tired of Jimmy Butler. Pat Riley's tired of a lot of things that's going on with the team. He's tired of Jimmy Butler, Hardaway said. Hardaway isn't the first person to suggest things aren't 100% perfect in Miami, which proves this is a team to watch in 2024-25 and beyond. The Heat have made the NBA Finals twice since Butler signed with them and they have appeared in the playoffs multiple times too. But they haven't claimed the ultimate prize, which is disappointing to their legion of fans. 
last season ended in a whimper, partly because Butler was injured and not able to help the team. Following that, Butler suggested things would have gone better if he remained healthy. That led to Riley ripping on Butler, saying he should have kept his mouth shut instead of talking about what-ifs. Since then, there have been rumors of Butler wanting a major contract extension and speculation that the team won't agree to that. Is Riley angered by his star player and is there a big split on the horizon? Butler is 35 years old and averaging slightly more than 20 points per game so he can still contribute but his relationship with the Heat could be growing ice cold. NBA Trade Rumors It's foolish for Miami Heat to close door on Jimmy Butler trade. Heading into the start of the NBA season, there may not be a contender whose future is more up in the air than the Miami Heat. After making a surprising run to the NBA Finals twice during the Jimmy Butler era, it's pretty safe to assume that the end is probably near. As Jimmy heads into what could end up being the final year of his contract with the Heat, there are big questions that need to be answered sooner rather than later regarding the future of both Jimmy and the Heat. In an ideal world, those futures would continue to intersect moving forward. However, with how much Miami left to be desired last year and considering they didn't truly upgrade the roster heading into this season, it's hard to imagine how there's a world in which the Heat re-sign Jimmy not only to the contract number that he wants, but also with the intention of building another championship-caliber roster around him. There's a very real possibility that the window to build a championship contender around Jimmy has closed. Jimmy is 35 years old, and with his injury history, there's a very good chance father time is already knocking on his door. His best playing days are likely already behind him. Because of that, instead of building around Jimmy, there's a very good chance this front office believes it may be time to build around Bam Adebayo. If that does end up being the case, it would be foolish to close the door on the idea of trading Jimmy at some point this season. If the Heat quickly begins to realize that they can't win with this roster, it's going to be difficult to make tangible changes on the fly. With how much money they have tied up in the likes of Tyler Harrow, Terry Rozier, and Duncan Robinson, the Heat making a championship-level trade-in season seems extremely unlikely. That's partly why it was so disappointing when they didn't make any upgrades to their roster during this past offseason. But if the Heat does believe changes are needed and that it could be time to pivot away from Jimmy, they'd be insane to just let him walk in free agency when they have a perfect opportunity to trade him at the deadline. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Jimmy Butler? Leave your opinion in the comments.